Sonia and Darren, we do know now that the embers from the fireplace were removed and put in a bag in the mudroom about sometime between 3 and 3.30 on Christmas morning. 911 was called at 4.50 on Christmas morning. The fire chief describes an absolutely chaotic and scary situation inside that home. They say they are still piecing together exactly what happened, but the question still remains tonight. Was that house safe to be in? Parts of the home on Chapin Avenue in Stamford should not have been occupied. The home was under extensive renovation and it appears they may not have had a working fire alarm. There is a system that is in the house that is ready to be hooked up for hardwired uh, smoke detection which was, uh, we don't believe was active at that time. The blaze tore through the home on Christmas morning and the house was entirely engulfed when firefighters got there. Today we're told they were there in under six minutes, but five people died. Lomar and Pauline Johnson of Southbury and their three granddaughters, 10-year-old Lily and seven-year-old twins, Sarah and Grace Badger. The only survivors, their mother, Madonna Badger and a male acquaintance, Michael Borsino. Today we learned it was Borsino who may have accidentally set off this fire. He apparently put ashes from the fireplace into a bag and left them in a mudroom. The fire appears to have been caused by hot, by hot fireplace ash and embers which had been discarded in this area. The fire entered the house quickly and, sp and spread throughout the first floor and up two interior vertical openings trapping the occupants on the upper floors. The grandfather made a heroic effort to save the girls. He tried to pull one of them through the window, but he collapsed and died there. The firefighters also did everything they could to get to those victims trapped inside. Several of them were injured. One had second degree burns to his face. Two others suffered smoke inhalation because they kept trying to go back into that home to get to the girls. Not being able to save them is not something they've been able to cope with. You're never prepared for anything like this. Uh, it's it's uh, heartbreaking. I've I had to recall 70 firefighters today <coughs> for uh, debriefing, and most of them broke down. Now the home was last inspected in July. There were no violations at that point, but again, they did not yet have their final certificate of approval. If they did have that, they absolutely would have had to have had that fire alarm. Again, that question is still up in the air tonight. We did ask the mayor and the fire marshal today how Mrs. Badger has been coping with all of this. They said they last spoke to her on Sunday and have not bothered her since to give her some space to grieve. Live in Stanford, Annie Rourke, News 8.